She didn't realize that she was on the verge of a great blessing. Kara chose Islam as a religion by the freedom of choice. Her marriage to a Muslim didn't affect her choice, but the actions of her husband and children as good Muslim examples influenced her greatly and led her to that straight path of the truth, which she created an inspiring story she is proud to tell. My name is Kara Lozi. I'm 45 years old. I'm from America, born and raised in America. Um, I became a Muslim in 1993. Once we got married, um, I started learning about Islam little bit by little bit. My husband was, like I said, a very good uh, example of uh, Islam, of a good Muslim, and he never forced me or pushed me or anything like that. Unfortunately, he got very ill, and at the same time that he was in the hospital, there was an Islamic school that opened up and some people came and told us about it and he said I want to put the children in the school and because he was sick I agreed to that but I didn't want to put them in the school not because I didn't want my children to be Muslim but I was afraid that they would become Muslim and they would be this little unit of my husband and children as Muslims and I would be an outsider but I agreed because he was, he was sick. But once I put them in the school, I can't believe how wonderful it was. And it, that school really showed me you know, the beauty of the religion, not just the religious side of it, but also uh, you know, the way of life. Although Kara's heart was filled with the morality of Islamic beliefs, she still felt incomplete. So she went in search of a guidance that would fill the void. It was as if her life was a completed puzzle with one missing piece, rejecting religious beliefs that discarded one another. She saw the Islamic beliefs as the best choice. My parents uh, raised me as Christian, but at the same time, they raised me like a Muslim. They used to always tell me, don't do this, don't do that, not because we say so, but because Allah asks you not to do it. So I think my whole life I was a Muslim but I just didn't know uh, how to find Islam. Um, my father was Catholic, my mother Protestant. When my mother, when my father married my mother, uh, they excommunicated him from the Catholic Church. So he was very disappointed in the church. So when I came along, they decided that they would let me find the religion that I felt the most comfortable with. The problem with that was every time I went to a different church, they would tell me, if you're not this, if you don't belong to this church, you're going to hell. If you don't belong to this church, you're going to hell. If you don't belong to this church, you're going to hell. And then I got really scared. So I went to my dad and I said, I'm scared I'm going to pick the wrong one. Why can't I just have a direct line between me and God? Kara seems to balance the importance of her physical and spiritual life and has a great ambitious and determination to succeed. I am the director for the American ESL Center in Amman, Jordan. We teach English to adults. Um, my husband, uh, it's really actually a family affair. My husband helps me. He steps in and his strength, where my weaknesses are, he has his strengths with dealing with people, dealing with the ministries, dealing with, uh, with Arabs in general. Um, my strength is in the academics. So um, we really work together as a family to promote our, um, our center, not only for teaching English, but also teaching understanding, tolerance, and patience between the two cultures. Uh, in the future, we hope to open up some other centers in the Middle East, um, uh, in the Gulf area, in Syria and Lebanon, inshallah. Kara established a new life for herself with the Creator's gratification. In simple words, Kara would like to send a message to those who feel lost and are afraid of the unknown. What I would say to somebody who is not a Muslim watching this program, I believe that you're watching this program for a reason. Because you want to know about Islam and you want to know what, what will happen to me. This is a big question that we have when we non-Muslims become Muslims. So that you can see Muslim women living normal, completely normal lives. And how much peace and, that we have and the, the joy that we have inside. Don't think about what 
might happen to you, but know what's going to happen to you is going to be wonderful. And listen to your heart and not listen to the others. Striving to be as pious one can be and fighting against one's own evil traits takes effort and is continuous and never-ending for a Muslim.